Thank you for viewing the demonstration of Mifos X Apache Finneract. This is a free and open source banking system. The Mifos Initiative has developed this system, and the Mifos Initiative is an award winning nonprofit free and open source software project. We are dedicated to ending poverty one line of code at a time. Apache and the MIFOS Initiative has launched the Global Open Standard for Financial Inclusion Technology, Apache Finneract. Apache is the world governance body for open source standards. The internet runs on Apache standards, and we are establishing financial inclusion standards through this platform. Historically, what we've been up against and what we're still dealing with in the financial inclusion arena, are, it's many fold. Many organizations use, still use a standard ledger book. They write down everything. Some use a spreadsheet. Some use standalone core banking systems, which are too expensive. The costs are too high. The innovation is too slow. And it's really hindering us from serving those two billion people who have no financial services and the two billion more with ineffective financial services. We have been developing what we call Financial Inclusion 2.0. This is the fast, low cost, mobile delivery of digital financial inclusion. These pictures tell us what we need to know. When money is digital, and every person has a phone, then every phone is a bank, and every person is accessible at low cost, and every conceivable financial service is simply an app. This is Financial Inclusion 2.0. The Mifos X that I'm going to be showing you is an app that's available on a tablet as well as the desktop. It is a web-based app. It can be installed locally on your own machines. You can download it at any time and configure it. And I'd like to show you first some of your resources, then I'll dive into very broad strokes what Mifos X can do for you. All of our documentation, all of the end user documentation is available on the web. Very easy. We also have a large library of training videos and other useful videos about the initiative, about what we do. These videos are in Spanish and in English, and you've obviously been joining one here today. So without further ado, what I'd like to do is take you over to the um, Mifos X login screen. There we go. I'm going to make that full screen for you. And you can see Mifos X is in a number of languages. More languages are being added every day. We are a global initiative, and we're currently in 39 countries. I might be a little short on that. Everyone is assigned a unique username and a unique password. And like anything in the world, your system is only as secure as your username password combination. So be mindful of that. This is the main Mifos landing screen. This would be your logo and you know your information here. The user can also land on a dashboard, and this dashboard goes through and gives you pertinent information as it relates to the individual job. Loan officers will have a queue. Uh, operations managers will have a queue. Fully customizable. To navigate, you can use this side or right across the top. I'd like to start the demo today with a very simple, I am your customer facing person. I'm your cashier. You have a customer who's come into your financial institution. I look to see, you know, I ask their name, so on, I can search it. 
And let's say Allison has come in. Say, hi, Allison, how are you today? I know it's her because here's her picture. I have a little snapshot of her relationship with the financial institution. I see she has a savings. And I see she has a little red box here. It's like, Allison, huh, that loan's a little bit late. She says, of course, I came in to make a loan payment. So we can make a repayment here, or we can look at details. Now you see, so that I could show you a late payment, you can see a reversal here. And you can go through some information about the loan, your repayment schedules. See, there's repayments that have been made, transactions, the documents, any notes. And since she wants to make a payment, I'm going to let her make a payment. This is her standard payment amount. The financial institution sets up the type of payments that they accept. Very easy to customize everything about the system. If I need to make a note, I enter a note, and then I submit. So now you go back and go, ah, look, it's green. Beautiful. That's done. The same with uh, savings. You can either from this screen deposit or withdraw. Or maybe she has a question about what has happened within her account. Let's see, she made a $20 deposit on November 22nd. Wonderful. She did a $50. She did a withdrawal. If you need to see any related journal entries, you can go back and look at all the debits and credits all right at your fingertips. Now, <clears throat> let's say we have another person who's come in, and now I want to look at Samuel. Samuel has come into the office, and we have his identification in the system. We can add any identification, again, the organization sets this up and defines what forms of IDs are acceptable. I look and he's had a sample loan application already uploaded. That's brilliant. That's great. There's no notes on the system. So let's look at uh, Samuel. We're going to open a new savings account for him and then we're going to go ahead and open a new loan account for him. We'll say this is a voluntary savings. Again, the financial institution defines all of the products in accordance with your policies and procedures. If this was done out in the field, you could put the field officer in. If your organization is converting systems, a lot of places will put the old account number in here. Some places don't use an external ID. It's your organization. All the other information regarding terms is right. It's, it's all in accordance with what we've done. So now we're accepting it. And you see this is pending approval here. Samuel can approve the same thing. So when I'm done being the customer facing person, I'll put on my hat of supervisor and show you how we do approvals. Now to create a new loan, that, that Mary's working. She's, <laughs> we can, this is a simple sample loan. And maybe, you know, maybe he has a small provision store. Maybe it's for agriculture. These purposes you define based on your organization's policy. This fund here, many organizations get grant funds to loan out, say Rotary International has gifted $100,000 specifically for agriculture lending. That's how the loan amounts can tie into the funds. We're going to keep that on the November 23rd and disperse same day. Doesn't typically happen that way, but this is a demonstration. Again, the external ID can be the tie, the tie into the old account number. It can be anything that the organization defines or blank. And you can see all these little green 
pop-ups, little tool tips. This helps all the end users along the way if they have a question about any field. You can link your savings to that. Since that savings isn't actually approved and activated yet, it's not going to appear in the dropdown. It will in the, in the end. And let's say this is a $1,000 loan for 24 months, repaid every month. And all of these are set up based on how the organization has defined the loans. And you can submit. Now you see this is also in a pending status. So now I am a supervisor. I'm done doing this job and now I've logged out, I've logged in, I'm a whole new person and I have some tasks to take a look at. And I see, okay, there's that one we just set up that's not approved. The first employee had no lending authority. However, I do and it's in my loan queue. So I look at this, I go, okay, let me see, that looks right. The repayment schedule looks good. There's the processing fee has been, is in there, that's wonderful. Oh gosh, there's no loan documents. So I make a note back to the original person. And I say, hi finish doing your job, and then get back to me. So I'm the loan processor and I go, okay, here's the loan application. And let's say, and to attach these, it's as simple as that. The documents can be scanned. I've done it by taking a photograph with a telephone. And so the images are then, in the system and now look it's come back to me as someone with lending authority and i can look at this application or the worksheet or whatever else needs to be reviewed but i have the information i need to make a decision so now i can go okay that's approved good deal now i can say let's disperse that and we can disperse it however we need to disperse it and now we look back at Samuel and he's in good shape. Now I'm still a supervisor and I still need to approve that savings account and activate it. So now Samuel here went from having nothing but his identification uploaded to having a loan and having a savings account. So he's good to go. That I realized was very, very quick, <laughs> but for details on how to do any of this stuff, remember those YouTube training videos and the online user manual that we showed earlier in the demonstration. And we also have integrated accounting. And of course, anytime you set up the system, first thing you do is set up your chart of accounts. There's a couple of different ways to review the chart of accounts, but it's all in there. Set this up and then set up the rest of your organization. And of course, your accounting people can, you know, uh, customize their frequently made postings. They can review their journal entries. They can see whatever they need to see to do their job. Very simple and logical accounting system. Now everyone in the organization needs reports. And these reports are, you know, we kind of parse them out by who needs to see what, but they're all in there. These are the most commonly used reports. Any of these reports can be customized. These all come with the original download. So your organization can say, you know, I like that information, but I don't like this information. Or I want to see it in this way or that way. And, you know, it's completely up to you how you want to define your fields and so on if you don't like the way in which it dis you know, displays. You can display on screen and you can display 
through PDF, you know, Excel, CSV, so that you can get the data in the way that works best for you. Now, the admin, this is where you start configuring. This is what dis tells your tellers, your customer service people, your loan officers, really what fields they're looking at. The system comes you know, with a clean download with all the standard basic stuff, and this is where you work your magic, and you manage your offices, you define your holidays, your employees. Again, there's a very lengthy um, uh, YouTube video that goes through each and every one of these fields. The user manual also goes through the fields. If you have a question anywhere along the way, there's your help, and it takes you right over to the applicable section of the of the user manual. Uh, going back to the admin screen, these are easy add-ins. Your data tables. This is where you can add in a little more information. Like four on the client screen, I typically add in one called beneficiary. So I know at my fingertips who is the beneficiary of this account. The codes, this is where those drop downs, where it says, um, you know, why, why did you close the account? You customize these. This is just kind of sample material in here. But you can customize these so those drop downs that your employees use are populated with app information that applies to your organization. Your audit trail is online real time. And it should be. Well, come on. Well, the audit trail doesn't want to populate. That's a heck of a note. That's odd. I did something odd in all of my running around here. Um, the hooks, this is where we connect the system to the outside world, your third-party softwares or your SMSs, and your products. This is where you define your loan products, you define your savings products, you go through each one of these fields, and you define what your organization uses and what your policies state and what your internal procedures are. And that's how you set up your loan, you know, loan products. You make sure their general ledgers are in there before you start set up your loan products because as you're setting them up, you're going to want to add in the accounting so that Every transaction is tied to the general ledger, and everything comes into a balance at the end of the day just beautifully. The same holds true for your savings products, your fees and charges mix. There's many, many, many configurations that go into the system. Anyone who's interested in a very hands-on sort of demonstration of system configuration. We're happy to do that. It just takes a really long time for this kind of format. And since we just want to give you a brief overview of the MIFO system, that will give you a really good idea. If you have any more questions, contact, uh, visit our website rather at uh, mifos.org. And the last slide on the screen will have a lot of different little links for you, so be prepared to pause so that you could become part of the MIFOS community and assist us in reaching the 4 billion people on this planet who are underbanked and unbanked. And I thank you very much. Have a lovely afternoon.